most people overtrade. Yeah. Right. Mm. So most people spend too much time in front of the charts instead of spending more time in front of the books mm. and in front of learning and researching. Dude, I do not want to be the guy like Rambo. <laughs> too much room for failure. Too much room for error. Too much yeah. room for missing the target. I want to be the sniper. I yeah. want to be calculated. I want to wait on the tree. I want to make sure the, the, the weather's good. I want to check the humidity. And I just want to fire one bullet. And it's a fucking headshot. That's why we did the same thing, not only with crypto, but with e-commerce. Our winning products, one of every four products that we would launch was a winner. Why? Because we spent so much time learning, so much time doing the research, that when we deployed a strategy, it worked. Back to Miyamoto Musashi, he said, life is about training. And the purpose of training is for you to be able to react without thinking. Mm. That it's so ingrained in your nature that people are like, dude, how did you know Bitcoin was going to go up and down? Because I've been looking at the chart every single day for five years. Yeah. And I've been understanding it, learning it, studying, becoming one with it. And these people are like, whoa, that's, that's, that's crazy. You're not using technical analysis? Let me break it down to you, motherfuckers. The top dogs ain't using technical analysis. They only use technical analysis to know what the noobs are doing. These guys are out here looking at bigger things. And I'll give you an example. Let me yes. tell you one. I can't say who the billionaire is, but uh, there's this really well-known billionaire that what he did was uh, he wanted to open up certain positions with oil, right? He wanted to make some oil trades at a multi-billion dollar level. Do you think this guy got on trading view? Did some, <laughs> did some, did some, support did, some did some, did some support <laughs> and resistance to figure out if he was going to buy some crude oil? Yeah. No, he realized that, you know, the containers that you have the crude oil s stored in, the lids would go up and down in accordance to the level mm -hmm. of the oil reserve. So the lid was kind of not a sealed lid. It was a lid that was placed over the top. So what does this dude end up doing? He launches satellites into space. <laughs> Thinking to, outside the box. To wow. measure the level of the lid and therefore know the reserves that are held in oil and make his trades and his positions in accordance to that information. Where are you going to get that, dude? That takes critical thinking. That Only takes fans. experience. That takes knowledge. And you need to be able to put that into play at a micro level so that then you can do it at a macro level. Yeah. So you got to think outside of the box. You can't be thinking how the sheep are thinking. Dude, if everybody's looking at the same technical analysis, everybody's going to do the exact same, same thing. Yeah. And it doesn't work. So you need to be able to use it as a measurement, but it can't be that alone. You need to be able to equip yourself with as many tools as possible.